So I made a video on this like years ago, but this was before um, I like had my whole setup optimized and even before I had a MIDI keyboard, which is sort of the impetus for this whole crazy setup. Uh, but I wanted to revisit it, maybe do like an updated take and add some voiceover and give it an audience of more than 40 views because it's buried in an unlisted link in my website. Anyways, uh, this is how to turn sound minor into a synthesizer. Uh, it doesn't matter what the source sound is. We're overriding it with M oscillator and you crack up the DSP rack, slap that bad boy in there, and then you'll start getting a waveform unending. I have this 12 sine 88 sine 4 root whatever. Sounds like this. And that's kind of cool, but I wish it had some pitch modulation. So what I did is I just added this modulator, it's set to random, and it's mapped to uh, the global pitch parameter. You don't want to do octaves or semitones because those ones are quantized. So pitch is smooth, and I have it going down minus 24, up plus 8. So that's like minus 2 octaves and up almost an octave. My education's failing me here. And the thing that I always forget is you want to click enable. Um, it's very easy to miss that button. I'm always like setting it up. I'm like, why isn't it working? It's because that thing, you can also do it from here. Whoops, from here, this little button. Um, anyways, once you have that going, that's like starting point and you can stack whatever effects strike your fancy. So uh, yeah, naturally, that's 10 OTTs, right? Better be. Excellent. And yes, before you ask, they are all set to um, 100% depth. Let's keep those, a couple of those pinned on screen just so you can watch them go. And uh, yeah, in this case, I just put rift after it to do some like filter morphing um, and filter sweeping. And it's also doing some drive with this like resin wave shape and this like pulse wave shape. It's just making it sound like a cool little neuro bass sort of sound. Um, then I'll usually add like a touch of chorus or ensemble or something just to give it like a little bit of stereo width. Um, of course, usually I find sounds pretty natural and does the trick. And I'm also adding a little uh, filtering with shade here. This is doing like a phaser actually with uh, modulated frequency and depth. Let's just maybe even like turn up the repeats. And then also like a little uh, wandering randomly modulated low pass filter. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. It's giving us that talking bass thing, which is great. Um, and then I just made this little like shade uh, preset here. So you can hear sound miner struggling in the background. <laughs> I swear, it's not, uh, when you start recording, it doesn't do this. But anyways, uh, doing some phase distortion, a bunch of notch filters. And when you think about it, notch filters in a multiband plugin doesn't make any sense. Because, like, when this frequency is below this frequency, it's effectively doing nothing. Let's not think about that too hard. <laughs> bunch of random modulators mapped to the frequencies of those notch filters. And another OTT after that, because why the hell not? Um, and then a limiter on the end. Um, cause it's not loud enough and I want it to be louder so I can barely hear myself think. Anyways, once you have it all set up, what I'll usually do is just like hit the record button and start blasting. And don't sweat all those clicks that we're hearing. Um, Luckily, that stuff doesn't actually like get baked into the sound. It's just, uh, it's just the sound of sound miner struggling, I guess. Um, anyways, once you have enough of that, um, you can stop recording, and there's the performance. You can hear it without clicks. And the cool thing is, this is already in sound miner, so we can just like throw through the same processing chain again. Um, and we can also mess with the pitch. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of that. Multi-pass. 
most of the chorus. It's already stereo. That's cool. I really like that portion there, especially. And that's it. I find that's just a good way to get some interesting textures on the fly without having to like move my hands off the keyboard and mouse.